तो अभी हम लोग हाई डैम आ गए हैं Aswan High Dam is a rock-filled dam located in the northern border between Egypt and Sudan. Its construction started in 1960. In 1968, it was completed and it was inaugurated in 1971. Mein kiya gaya tha. It took about 10 years to disembark the material according to Russia plans, and it was operated in 1979 after building the high dam. About the advantages. Of- so, we are here at Nasir Lake. Ke जिसके सामने अभी जो वाइट वाला हिस्सा दिख रहा है मैं जूम करके दिखा रहा हूँ जैसे लाइक द पोर्ट ऑफ सुदान और मेरे पीछे की तरफ है लेक नासर जहाँ पे 9 मीटर तक क्रोकोडाइल्स मिलते हैं वट इज द टेम्पल कॉल जिसको पहले पानी की वजह से मूव किया गया था एक जगह से दूसरे जगह पे तो ये सीधे जाके सुदान में मिलता है और ऑपोजिट में अगर दिखाओ इस तरफ जहाँ पे हाई डैम था ये इजिप्शियन पार्ट में है ये है मोनूमेंट ऑफ फ्रेंडशिप ये फ्रेंडशिप है इजिप्शियन और सोवियत यूनियन के बीच यानी रशिया के बीच इसका जो भी आर्किटेक्ट थे वो भी एक सोवियत ही थे और ये वाला मोनूमेंट इजिप्ट और रशिया का फ्रेंडशिप दर्शाने के लिए अभी हम लोग आए हैं फिले टेंपल देखने सामने बहुत टेक अ बोट तो हम लोग यहाँ पे बोट लेंगे और बोट से जाएंगे एक आइलैंड में और मैं अपना भी फोटो दिखाता हूँ ये रहा मैं फिले आइलैंड के एंट्रेंस के पास जाते हुए यहाँ पे बहुत सामान है जो ये स्ट्रीट बैठ रहे हैं यहाँ पे दोनों ही तरफ बहुत सारे सामान है और यहाँ से लेंगे हम लोग एक बोट और बोट करके चलेंगे आइलैंड में आवाज आ रही है कि नहीं लेकिन अभी एक आइलैंड में जाना है जहाँ पे एक्चुअल टेंपल है
this is Philae Island. About the names of the island, the, the ancient Egyptian name was Bilak or Bilak, which means the end, because it's located at the end of Egypt. After that, the Greek called it Philae or Phila, which means lover or lovers, according to the myth of Isis and Osiris. About the place of the island, mm -hmm. this place isn't the original place because it's in the Tomarizing Water in 1970, in which the Egyptian government and UNESCO built a dam around it, bombed out water, dismantled its monuments, and transferred each stone to a nearby island called Adjelica. Construction and landscaping completed in 1979, and the timbers reopened in 1980. Talk about 10 years. Tell me about uh, the pictures here. Yeah, what sure. does it signify? Sure, yes. Mm -hmm. Watch your steps. So this is the entrance of the temple. Uh -huh. And in front of it, we can see two lines from granite to protect the temple. Uh -huh. And beside the left one, there is a small base of granite. It was before a complete obelisk, but it was destroyed. And about the scenes, mm -hmm. to the left side, in the lower part, mm -hmm. we can see the Roman king holding some enemies by their hairs mm -hmm. and raises his stick to smiting them uh -huh. and offering them to the goddess in front of him the owner of the temple goddess Isis okay and on the upper part we can see a Roman king offering to Osiris mm -hmm. seated upon the throne of Egypt mm -hmm. behind him his wife Isis and behind them again the Roman king offering to Isis and behind her her son Horus with the hunt on his face and here we can see that mm -hmm. left side was destroyed. Right. It was destroyed by Christians because they used to bring here in the temple. So uh, why? Which is the god with the falcon face? You said Horus. Horus. Uh, um, which one? Horus, the last one here. The, the last one, very last yes. one. Okay. And the second one here to the right side. Oh, okay. Is it clear? Yes. yes. because there is no room here. It is formed by the intricate bars, the right side consisted of 10 columns and 6 rooms. This room is used for reserving offerings or as a list place for the place. This is the third room here. This is a first window column for the high style hall. Mm -hmm. So as you see, converted to a church, we can see the parts of the church. Mm -hmm. Here we can see the altar. This is the altar. The uh, okay. You can see the Christians remove the old scenes from this part to mm -hmm. pray to the east side. Mm -hmm. And also we can see the dark color mm -hmm. because they use a fire for lighting, for warming and for making food. Mm -hmm. So this room is the evidence that the Christians lived here in the island for hundreds of years. As we can see the cross carved everywhere in the columns and also in the walls. For example, here we can see the cross, the Roman cross. Mm -hmm. And you know what it is? Which one? This is the Roman this cross, right? This one? Yeah, this shape. What is the name of this? Uh, is, is, is it a calendar? No? This is cartouche uh, cartouche the guiding title didn't tell you about this uh, maybe he did maybe, you I, forgot. maybe oh, I forgot sure. <laughs> yeah this is cartouche cartouche having the names of the kings and queens oh yes i remember now <laughs> because each king had phila temple has a history that spans over several centuries its construction began during the Ptolemic period in the 4th century BC and continued through the Roman period until 3rd century AD. The temple complex was dedicated to the goddess Isis, who was revered as the divine mother and goddess of fertility, magic and protection. Devotees believed that visiting the temple and offering prayers to Isis will grant them blessings, protection and guidance. In 20th century, the construction of the Aswan High Dam threatened to submerge the original island of Philae under the rising waters of the Nile. To preserve its historical treasure, this international campaign was launched to dismantle and relocate the temple complex to the nearby island of Ajilkia. 
The relocation process was carried out between 1972 and 1980. Osiris, Isis, and Horus. Okay. Here we are in the sanction, which is the most important place in the world, which contains the equation. So, this is the sanctuary for body of Horus. This is the most wine by place here. This is the house of the gods, or the place of the gods. So, congratulations now, you became a king. I became a king now. Okay. okay. So, yeah. so, this is what we are going to do. I want to get your garment to hold the secret book for Isis inside it. The gold in stage of order. And in front of it, the gold before another is a granite to as a table to hold the open for Isis. Along the main scenes here, this one. We got here two important scenes. When Isis transferred into her, she will take the body of her husband by her wings, and the king offering to her lotus perfume, because lotus perfume is a symbol of love in ancient Egypt, and also lotus flower because it's a symbol of power in Egypt. And we can notice that without light, this room is the most dark place. Why? Because in the ancient Egyptian belief, no one can see the clock, like us nowadays. Mm. The second here we can see the king wearing eye of Horus. Eye of Horus is a symbol of protection. It protects them from the evil spirit during their life and also in the afterlife. Why, why he gave this eye to Horus? Because Horus, during his war with his uncle, he lost his heart. Mm. That's why he gave him another heart. Yes. Okay. And the third piece here, uh -huh. you can see the king offering bottles of perfumes to goddess Isis because perfume was essential during their life because it gave them power and energy. While she is feeding her sarcophagus, he was feeding her The same scene in the upper part, she was feeding him and he was she was feeding him in the hospital because breastfeeding in ancient time lasted for 13 years. 13 years. It's not three years, it's symbolic because she was giving him a royal life. That's why. Okay. Let's go. Right. Mm. Okay. Okay, yes. and it's everything is now submerged under water. Yeah, submerged. Okay. And the last page. मैं हूं इस जगह पे जिसका नाम है अनफिनिश्ड ओबेलिस्क ये अनफिनिश्ड क्यों है वो आपको दिख बीच में डिटोराइड का एक ओबेलिस्क होना चाहिए था बट अल्टीमेटली उसमें क्रैक्स आ गए और एक जगह से दूसरे जगह पे जहाज से शिफ्ट किया गया था इसीलिए ये जो ओबेलिस्क है वो ऐसे ही अधूरा रह गया पूरा टूटा फूटा जगह है और अभी हूँ मैं सिटी जिसका नाम है असवान